Resilience is the ability to not only take criticism from others, but take off comparison. Resilience is about you getting back into your flow, into your authenticity, into your actions, not the world's. That's real resilience. Because listen, even when you fail, most of the time when you fail, you're just embarrassed to have been seen failing by other people. It's still criticism and it's still comparison, killing the dream. There's two things I need you to be resilient at on the dream. Number one, on R, the resilience, and this would be hard, you've got to deal with rejection and your fear about what other people think. Most people think resilience is just, oh, I just get back up and go. Where do most people fall down though? Most people fall down into the fear of rejection. That's the number one place over and over and over. I've been doing this a long time. Most people lack resilience, not because they're not mentally strong. See, in pop psychology, we get this wrong. You read all these articles on on you know resilience, so many of them, so many of them are about just the feeling of being dejected or upset or how to deal with failure, which we'll talk about. But the most often need of resilience comes from the reality of rejection and judgment. Other people criticizing you kills the dream. You have the target, you have the habits, you're even enjoying life. And then you got that jerk of a spouse, a team member, somebody in your community, the gal next door, somebody jumps into judgment at you and you react, you hit the floor and you don't get back up. You made their opinion of you more important than your alignment with your dream. You've made their opinion of you more important than your alignment with your dream. And that killed the dream. You chose their opinion over your dream. You chose their opinion over your dream. You chose their opinion over your dream, over and over and over and over again. Even though you knew what to do, you knew the target and you had the alignment, but you chose their opinion over and over and over. That to me is what a lack of resilience really means. Resilience is about dealing with rejection and criticism more than just dealing with your own failure. In my opinion, we are social animals and we are so driven by the need to belong. We want to be accepted and loved, seen, heard, understood, listened to, admired, appreciated. We want to be cheered on so much. And when that doesn't happen, we believe that is related to the dream. When there's separate things, a person's opinion is way different than the dream. They're separate, but in our mind, we combine them. And if we don't get acceptance, we think the dream's gone. You don't need other people's understanding or acceptance for you to make progress toward what matters to you in life. And as soon as you get that, you have real personal agency in life. As soon as you get that, you're back into the author of your own life. You're writing your story again. You're writing their, your story again. The second you realize that, wow, their opinion, their understanding, even their appreciation, even their love is not necessary for me to do my daily habit today. That's the breakthrough. Like, it was not necessary for my friends to believe I could be a writer, for me to sit down and write. No one had to cheer me on for me to sit down and write. As I'm filming this for you guys, I want to let you know and be totally honest with you. There's millions of people in the world who don't like me. <laughs> who told me, what are you doing on the internet? Who do you think you are? Oh, I read your book. It wasn't better than this other book. I like this other book. You suck. I, I mean, the meanest possible things have been said to me in my face at events or on stages. Why? Because if you deal with millions of people, you're going to get some jerks. It just happens. It doesn't surprise me. I'm like, that's part of the process. I don't need everyone to like me. 
If I needed everybody to like me, I would never have this opportunity to serve with you right now. I would never enjoy my dream the way that I do. That's why it's like other people's opinions were trying to measure up to other people. It's not on my radar. Me measuring up to them has nothing to do with my daily alignment. What do I mean by that? Well, often in my career, especially, people get discouraged. They get discouraged because they measure up to other people. Oh, well, she has a million followers. Look at her quote cards versus mine. I guess I'll stop. Well, her quote cards have nothing to do with my daily habit of writing and posting. Y'all follow? Resilience is the ability to not only take criticism from others, but take off comparison. Resilience is about you getting back into your flow, into your authenticity, into your actions, not the world's. That's real resilience. That's the resilience that matters in the dark hours. That's the resilience that moves the needle for you in progress. Because listen, even when you fail, most of the time when you fail, you're just embarrassed to have been seen failing by other people. It's still criticism and it's still comparison, killing the dream. But when you can move forward and when you struggle, when you starting small, when you look silly, when people don't get it, and you can feel that, you'll, you'll always feel it. I still feel it. You will always feel criticism and comparison. You will never be free as a human being from that. To what we know, maybe two people have ever, ever achieved that on earth. At least documents like, sounds like Jesus did, maybe Buddha did. It's like, it, like to be free from that and totally enlightened, hey, maybe you're conscious and you're there and you've achieved it. I don't know many people. Even the Dalai Lama, who I've been blessed to be with three times now, will talk about how he even feels it. It's hard. That's what resilience requires. It, it's a realignment almost back to your authenticity, back towards your dream, back towards your actions, even when you don't measure up and they don't approve. Can I get an amen on a week day, ladies and gentlemen? This will change your life. This will change your life. This will shift so much for you. I mean, I can't even tell you. When you separate your daily habits from their opinions, and measuring up to them, and you show up in alignment for your daily habits, magic. You'll be like stunned by the progress. When you let them discourage you and you stop and you choose their reality over your dream, that's where the dream is killed. All human beings, what we really desire once we get past safety and sustenance are these four aspirations. We want a greater sense of aliveness. That might mean presence, consciousness, awareness, vibrancy, passion, enthusiasm. We all want more of that. Some people call it adventure. Some people call it just the spice of life or joie de vivre. Whatever it is, we want a sense of aliveness. And the second aspiration we talked about was deep connections. That means your relationships. At the end of our lives, it's the relationships that matter so much to us. And we know from research that the deeper relationships you have, the longer we live. Third, meaningful pursuits. Some people get this through creating. Some people get this through service. But I'm here to tell you the important phrase here is meaningful pursuits. You have to pursue something. We all want to get better, to become more, to be a better leader, a parent, servant, role model. That sense each day that we have something to do that matters. Growth day, world's number one system for achieving it. We know from research to improve your life long term, you gotta track your habits. You need a mindset journal. You gotta have a goal setting system. You need deep dive education. You need coaching. You gotta have ongoing conversations with other people about your personal and your professional goals. Our goal for you is to help you make self-improvement a way of life by giving you things that give you the guidance, the inspiration, the drive, and the motivation to continue becoming more and more successful, healthy, and happy in your life. Every day is a great day to grow. We say that every day in Growth Day. Let's make this day the day you begin that journey.